So after a week of wearing ponytails and buns, y'all, it is time to go from that to this. I'm going to show you how I do that. If you are new, thanks for stopping by. And if you're not new, as always, thank you for being loyal. So let's get into these products. Thank you, Curl Mix, for sponsoring this video. But I'll be showing you guys a tutorial on how I use these products to get a good wash and go. So I'm using the Curl Mix Lavender Wash and Go System with organic jojoba oil that is supposed to be for moisturizing your hair. This is how the product looks. It comes with the Curl Method Guide that shows you how to use each product for the best results. And these products are handmade, vegan, cruelty free and organic. So I'm really excited to be using this on my dry, unwashed, needs to be washed hair girl. Y'all see it. I've been wearing a bun for the last couple of days, but I'm gonna go ahead and start off with step one. This is the shampoo for cleansing. It is supposed to be completely saturated in your hair. I'm going to apply this aloe vera shampoo in my hands, as you see, massage it on my scalp only. Usually I like to just do that with my fingertips. I don't like to really scratch my head and do all that. I just kind of massage it really as best as I can into my hair. And then I will rinse it out. And once I rinse it out, I'm going to just section my hair into a few different sections. Right now it's still a little matted. I really have to detangle it, but that is what we're gonna do in step two. So I take my time, get the best sections I want, Curl Mix actually recommends that if you have curly coily hair, you separate your hair into four to eight sections. If you have coily kinky hair, you do 12 to 16 sections. And if you have wavy or curly hair, you may only need to do one to two sections. All right, so I'm using step two. This is the grape seed conditioner. You're supposed to section your hair as you see they've already done. And while my hair is soaking wet, guys, I'm going to section and really just put the conditioner on that section of the hair as best as I can. Curl Mix recommends you do a like squishing technique just to get all of the products into your hair and or detangle it with the tool. As you see, I love using my detangling comb or detangling brush while in the shower. So I'm gonna just work that through my hair just to get all the kinks out and then I'm going to just finger detangle. And I'm just gonna keep finger detangling until I feel like I pretty much evenly distributed the product throughout my hair. I'm not really having any kinks as I detangle my hair and it just becomes a very smooth, easy process as you see here. And once I've completely done that, I'll go ahead and just twist that section, just set it aside so I can have the time and just the space to work on the next section. Because if you do not, like the hair is going to be all over the place. It's going to be hard to differentiate like what sections you're doing and using. So this actually works for me. If you have any clips or bands, you can also do it that way. So here's another clip of me just detangling the hair. As you can see, there is so much slip with this product, you guys. This detangling process was honestly one of the easiest detangling processes that I've ever been through. So I really, really enjoyed that about the product. It definitely smelled good. It was really easy to use. I absolutely enjoyed detangling my hair with this product. So I love a good close up. So I wanted to give you guys another clip just so you can see how much definition I was getting as I was detangling. So once I've completely done that, I have all my sections. This is how it looks. Each section has been combed, detangled. My hair feels really good, looks pretty good. Looks really juicy if I do say so myself. And now we're going to just go ahead and rinse all of that conditioner out of my hair. And honestly, while my hair is in the sections, I just rinse it out. I don't need to detangle it or untwist them. I just kind of wet and really squish and make sure I rinse out everything in the shower as I do that. Now I'm untaking them out because I am getting ready to go to the third step in this process and that is the styling. We're gonna go in with the avocado moisturizer which is step three. For step three, they Curl Mix actually recommends that you use about one pump per section if you have curly coily hair and also one pump if you have wavy curly hair, but apply two pumps if you have curly kinky hair. The pure avocado moisturizer is supposed to be applied to soaking wet hair while in the shower still, and then you just finger comb throughout your hair, allowing your curls to naturally do their thing 
clumped together. I actually love avocado anything. I love the smell, I love the texture, I love how it feels. I also love how moisturizing it is. I have always had great benefits when I use anything with avocado in it. So I was really excited to try this product. I just really worked it through each section and I felt like my hair felt so moisturized in the shower before I even finished. So I'm just taking out the twist, taking my time y'all, and just going through each section. I'm using about two pumps for each section of my hair and just using my fingers to just go ahead and finger comb and distribute that product throughout my hair. So this is how juicy these curls look. They look so defined. My hair feels so good. I love how just resilient and bouncy my curls look after just putting the moisturizer throughout my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my time and do this to the other side of my hair and then I will show you guys the next step. All right, so I'm wrapping up the end of putting all of this throughout my hair. As you can see, this is how my hair is looking after that product. I just really wanted to give you guys an up close look on how this product looks in my hair. I, I'm loving the results so far. Curls are popping, curls look super defined, curls look really moisturized, curls feel really good, my hair feels so soft. All right, so now we're gonna go into the final step. This is step four. I'm going to be using the Curl Mix Pure Flax C Gel. This product is supposed to be finger combed throughout my hair. I'm gonna clump the curls. My hair is gonna feel very slippery and the curls should be super defined. Once I've completed this section, I will continue to do that throughout my hair. If I have coily, kinky, or curly, coily hair, I'll use about two pumps. If I have wavy, curly hair, I would really use about one to two pumps per section. So let me give y'all the tea on the flaxseed gel. Now this is one of their hero products in this line. This gel actually provides a very soft hole. Now personally, I like a strong hole. However, the soft hole, from curl mix does last about three to four days and your curls are super bouncy super moisturized not hard or crunchy so this is a actually nice gel for a soft hole and you will see that when i get ready to style my hair in the next part of this video once my hair is completely styled i am now going to dry my hair curl mix recommends that you do not let your hair air dry but use a diffuser and i love using diffusers because it does provide that direct heat to the area that you want to dry and also kind of helps clump your curls a little bit as well depending on how you diffuse or dry your hair sometimes you can dry down sometimes you can dry up for more volume and sometimes you can just press into your hair to help define those curls a little bit more so that's what i'm doing it usually takes me about 15 to 30 minutes just depending on you know if i've been how long i've been out of the shower and how wet my hair is to completely dry This is how my hair is looking after I use the curl mix. And what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts below. Let me know if you guys want to try the product. Let me know if you try the product. Um, and leave me some comments below. Let me know what you think about how my hair turned out and if you might try the products. I will see you guys in the very next video. Bye.